family came here to learn about planning? Where'd you come to learn about success? Right? We can plan, but we can plan to fail or we can plan for success. What do you want to do? Come on, a little success. success, right? So what is success for you? How about you? Making money. Making money? Anybody else? Other ideas of success? Control. Nobody else? Everybody just wants money. Control? Control? Having a three day work week. Three day work week. Sounds good to me. My idea of success is being like getting on an airplane. You ever heard the slogan for, I think it's American Airlines? Ding, you're now free to move about the country. That's what I want to do. This is my second career, basically. I'm a business coach. And the reason I went into this is to help people not make some of the same mistakes I did. Lack of planning, lack of marketing, lack of sales, lack of planning how you're going to make a profit and pay yourself. Right? How are you going to make money? So what's your idea of success in 2016? Are you prepared for 2016? Not just planning, but prepared. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do in the next day or seven days when you leave this here tonight? Is there going to be a change in what you do? Or are you just going to take what you learned and not do anything different? How are you going to get from where you are now to success? One of the things I help people do is take action steps. One thing at a time instead of trying to bite it all off at once. You heard a lot about budgeting and different things. That's all good as long as you follow your budget. right? How many of us have a budget at home and we don't follow? We just go, oh, I got money in my pocket. Right? Take action steps. Put them down. What are you going to do to get there? What action are you prepared to take to reach your success? What are you going to do when you leave here? Are you going to change like the caterpillar into a, a butterfly? Or are you like me, have butterflies standing up here? <laughs> no? A goal without a plan is just a wish. How many of us have so many wishes? Been in business for years and we still <coughs> haven't found our wish. Still haven't made our success. Think about what your success is and plan for that. Not just planning for an extra 20 bucks this week or an extra $200 or an extra 500 whatever you're looking for. Each one of us has a different dollar amount. Each one of us has a different ideal where we want to go. I want to spend the winters in Florida or Arizona where I just came back from three days ago. What do you need to be prepared? Resources, time, money, other people. Many times, especially if we're solopreneurs, we just Oh, we can do it all. Does that happen? No. I use three or four different virtual assistants all over the country. One's in Costa Rica, one's in California, and one was here in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Find different ways to get people to help you. They have the experience. I've learned that over, I was in IT for 40 years, and I learned if I didn't know how to do it, I'd find somebody that knew how to do it. It would save me a lot of time and money. Because they could do it, I could still make some money off of their time. Just think of how you can do these things. A lot of it's your attitude, not the tools you use. Okay. After all, if you don't do it, who will? Especially if it's your own business, right? Some of the destinations for success. Some of you mentioned these things: more free time, be your own boss, financial freedom. I like time with family and friends. Anybody else like that one? Yeah. yeah? What's your why? I actually do book reviews, and one of the books I do the review on is Start With Why. I'll take you through a presentation on that particular book, do a synopsis of what a summary of that book is and how it can benefit you. So you don't have to read the book. I've read it for you. How many would like that? Yeah, kind of fun. Difficult roads are often lead to a beautiful destination. I don't know if any of you heard about the uh, person that was in business for so many years, and he just got tired of being on a roller coaster. The cash flow roller coaster, you just kind of go like this. Never seems to end. We help you get on a cash flow 
train. Money, time, people, there's so many different ideas with that. What's weighing you down? Is it lack of money? Lack of time? Lack of people to help you? That's what I'm here for. Help you think about those things. How you can get to that thought that you are successful. If you're successful, I'm successful. Right? Help each other. Action steps. Who will help you keep you on track? Who is going to be there for you? What are your desired outcomes? Where do you want to get to? One of the things I promote is hard goals. I heard him talk about, Steve talking about smart goals. Hard goals are heartfelt, animated, required, and difficult. A little bit deeper than a smart goal. Is it in your heart? Is it something you really want? Anytime somebody says, I want to do this, I'll say, well, how important is that to you? Makes you stop and think about it. Is it really important to you? Is it just something you think you need to do because somebody else did it? Or you're following in the path of somebody else? Or you want to be like somebody else? Be yourself. Enjoy your, your life. Hard goals. Anybody got a hard goal they can think of? I can tell you one right there. Read, the, read about JFK's wanting to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. Pretty big uh, goal, right? Yeah. We help you sort above the crowd. We talked about strategic plans, marketing plans, and sales plans. There's many different areas of business besides just your money. But how do you strategically know the direction you want to go? If you have no direction, you have no destination. If you know your direction, you have a destination. You know where you're going to go. How many of us came here or used to maybe use a GPS to find your way here? Think of a GPS for your business. Have a road map. Efficiency is doing thing, getting things done. Effectiveness is doing the right things. Not just doing things. I worked with a guy years ago, and we were working on some things, and he looks at me, stops in his tracks, he says, sometimes I just feel like a human doing. Anybody else feel like a human doing sometimes? Yeah? What is the outcome people get from what they buy from you? Think of the outcome and the solution you're providing rather than, this is what I sell. What is your business mission? Mission values. You know what they are? Your mission, should you choose to accept it? <laughs> Recognize that? I hope so. What's your mission? Why are you in business? Is it just a job or is it a business? Many times it just becomes a job. We start something because we've had that experience. Is it really a business? One of the other books that I've read that really hits me is it's called Profit First. So we talk about budgeting and accounting and all these different things. But think about what is your profit you want to make? How much do you want to set aside for taxes? How much are you going to set aside for your own pay? And the rest is what you have left to expen for expenses. Rather than the other way around, everybody says, oh, I'm going to buy all this stuff. And think about paying yourself first and all the other things that you put aside. Sometimes it's charity. Sometimes it's different things that you want to do. <laughs> We come alongside business owners and leaders who want to succeed and move them from where they are to where they want to be. We help you not make the same mistakes that others do or have made in business. Have you ever made a mistake? No answers? I did once. Yeah. I did, you were wrong. <laughs> yeah, we all make mistakes. We've all done it. Why not learn from somebody else that's already made that mistake and not make it yourself? Right? I don't say I've made all the mistakes, but I've made enough of my own. I'm sure a lot of you have. We all do. 
You may make a mistake starting the wrong business. Maybe we made a mistake not figuring out what we're going to do when we get out of that business. I have many people that come to me want to sell their business and it's not worth anything by this time because they haven't built a business that is sellable. What I mean by sellable is you build value in your business, systems and things that people want to buy. They want to buy a business that they can just take over. They don't want to buy a business where they have to hire you too. Right? So what is success to you? One of the things I run into is businesses on all different spectrums. You could be incubating, you could be just starting out. You could be going from one thing to another, what we call fluttering. Many people are, I hear people talk about, oh, squirrel, squirrel. You ever had that happen to you? It's a nice shiny new thing that you should do. Like create a video like that, that's a nice shiny new thing, right? Flying. You think you've got your business where you want it, and you're thinking about selling it. But it's not the point where you can sell it. We help you soar above the crowd. So thinking about soaring is building your business so you can track things, what we call key performance indicators, knowing what your business is, what you're, where it's going, what you want to know, without having to be present. You can run your business from another country if you wanted to. Anybody here want to do that? Maybe get out of the U.S. for a while? Skip the election? <laughs> no? How do you discover your true vision, mission, and values? And a strategic plan and where you're going to go and what success looks like to you without sitting down with somebody and talking about it. We sit down and talk to you about your business and it's all about you. It has nothing to do with me. If I came in and told you what to do, then it's my business. Right? I'm taking over. It should be your business. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Where do you want to spend the rest of your life? Do you want to sell your business or what? Think about it. Sign up for a free discovery session in the back and I'm, you put your business card in the fishbowl I have back there. I'll give you a call or an email and we'll get together sometime and figure out how we can uh, make your business soar above the crowd. Thank you. Thank you.